Hello everyone. Today we will be reviewing the Razer Huntsman and the Steel Series Apex Pro. We're going to look for the pros and cons of each keyboard respectively and we will compare the two in every category we could find. I know what you guys want so let's just start right away with the sound test. This is the Steel Series Apex Pro, and it has linear switches. They are omni point switches, which I'm going to be explaining later in this video. This uh, Steel Series Apex Pro cost me uh, $240 equivalent in my country, and it is the more expensive of the two. And it also, uh, it was not on sale. This keyboard was the cheaper of the two. It only cost me $120, but it uh, was on sale and still is. If you want to get it in Norway, it is 50% uh, off from uh, one shop. You can see that by checking the price website in Norway. And also, it, it is the regular version. It is not the elite version, so it doesn't come with a whisk, a whisk list or MIDI control. Next up, let's look at the standout features of each keyboard. Let's start with the Razer since it is the cheaper one of the two. Uh, Razer's own mechanical optical combo switches provide a really clicky uh, typing or gaming experience, and they feel extremely responsive in comparison to other mechanical keyboards. They have an actuation point of just 1.5 millimeters and they bottom out at 3.0 millimeters. The standard is four, so it is 25% shorter um, total tr travel, which you can totally feel. Uh, the keycaps are the best ones on the market. They are double shot PBT, which is the most durable compound with the most durable uh, shot injection method. And they feel actually pretty damn good for being an inferior plastic uh, in regards to feel and smoothness. They, most people normally prefer ABS over PBT, over a pure um, feel. Uh, the sound can of course be improved if you go out and buy those ABS keycaps. But that's, not, that's really a non-issue for me. Uh, it might not be for you, but in my opinion that's not really a big deal. And the only downside I can see with the keys are the uh, stabilizers, which rattle around, which rattle, which rattle if you shake the keyboard itself. So I can demonstrate that for you right now. That's really only a problem if you like to carry around the keyboard everywhere you go. And of course, that might be an issue if you're like on a bus or a train and you can hear the keyboard rattling whilst it's moving around in the baggage container but you know 
I don't travel around with the keyboard, so I don't think that's an issue for me, especially because it's a 100% keyboard. It's not really made for travel. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this one. So let's just get on to the right one. The other one. Now, let's get into details on the Apex Pro. It has Steel Series' in house Omnipoint ma magnetic mechanical switches, which provide uh, adjustable actuation on every single key and rapid response times. It is advertised as being the fastest keyboard in the world, which it kind of isn't. But hey, it is extremely fast. They have, they also have an incredibly smooth feel and they sound pretty muffled too. So it's really not a problem to use it at night if somebody else is at home or if sound is an issue for you and, or it distracts you from the game. And uh, the keycaps on this thing are made of ABS and they feel really good, but I've heard that they might shine after a couple of days of use. There are a few reviews out there that say that they shine after maybe four or five days, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, but that is really dependent on how moist your hands are. And that might actually be a non-issue for you. Uh, so you might uh, want to have that checked if you have moist hands, that might be an issue for you. And it also has an OLED screen as you can see here. Where you can uh, adjust some stuff like the actuation point and RGB lighting, and the macros, etc. But one downside I can see with this keyboard, however, is that only the 60% layout is covered with the OmniPoint switches. So only the numbers and the keys that you actually write with, plus the control and those bottom row keys, are the ones that are actually used for, um, not actually uh, provided with the OmniPoint thing. The F keys, escape button, um, these M keys over here, and the arrow keys, as you can see here, they're all just Gatoron X Steel Series Reds. But as you can see, even the Alt button right here is uh, Omni Point Switch. So it's really uh, the buttons you use the most that are Omni Point. But, you know, if you use the arrow keys for games like Need for Speed Underground, very old games that like to use the arrow keys for steering, you might want to remap those to the WASD keys, or you just play with the arrow keys and just act like they're Omnipoint, because they're actually pretty damn good for being just red switches. And um, one feature that's not that important for me about this keyboard, but might be for you, is that the Steel Series has a volume wheel and uh, USB pass through as you can see right here you can put plug your USB devices through here your wireless charger your wired charger or your um, other keyboard or something like that maybe your mouse yeah that would be good for your mouse so yeah that's pretty much what these uh, what this keyboard has to offer um, if you want a really in-depth feel of the keyboard you really just have to try it yourself it's really something that can't be explained it's just that smoothness it feels like it's submerged in oil pretty much and i'll get into that a little bit later in this next category which is uh coming up okay now let's just jump right into the um, build quality of the two uh you can visibly see from first glance actually that the apex pro has a little bit more oh crap a little bit more quality to it and its cable is obviously much thicker and the only place where the razor really has an advantage over the steel series is in its key caps and its key switches because razor's key switches are all stabilized and apex pros aren't but they don't need to be because they're physically smoother than the razor ones none of these came with real defects of any kind we felt a little bit weird on the a button on this keyboard on the steel series 
but that wasn't more than just uh, it, that it had to be kind of burnt in for it to disappear and it has disappeared ever since what an hour after we bought it so this keyboard is kind of new actually but yeah the apex pro has a visual advantage in quality but in usage it's not really that different and also the material the steel series is using is aircraft grade aluminum i don't know if that's some fancy term for just saying normal aluminum but it definitely feels much better than regular aluminum which uh, I think this one is coated with, but it is really a plastic, the Razer is really a plastic keyboard, but it has a metal layer on top. As you can see here, they have put metal on top and have a plastic under. But you know, both of them are good. None of them have a problem with deck flex or anything. They don't really flex a lot. Negligible amounts, really. Nothing too crazy with either of them well they flex a tiny bit the razor flexes a bit more but that's negligible and yeah that's pretty much my conclusion on the quality apex pro leading a little bit and yeah let's just get to the next point which is okay uh, now we're going to be talking a little bit about the typing experience of the two keyboards let's just start with the uh the Huntsman the typing experience is really fantastic on both in my opinion both are extremely responsive and feel very light on the hands they're both exactly 45 grams in actuation force but the razor feels a little bit lighter because it has the clicky switches this model is with the clicky switches there are also models with linear switches but they're either more expensive or I couldn't find them in the stores so I only have the clicky version and the clicky switches have this um, steep force curve and are lighter most of the time like maybe 60 grams before you uh, press it right on the key or it doesn't get that maybe like 50 50 grams at actuation but the rest of the curve is very light so uh, since the Apex Pro is linear, I would obviously prefer that for writing. Even though people say clicky switches are better for writing, I don't really understand why because it's really just a distraction for typing. It doesn't really provide any uh, advantage apart from feeling when you click the button, but I bottom out every key anyway. So I think, uh, I think the Apex Pro feels better basically. As you can see with the, let me just demonstrate you for this real quick. That does not provide any advantage as you can see. This one's got a shorter um, bottoming out distance, but it doesn't really make a difference since you can obviously see that the Apex Pro is much more muffled or you can hear it at least. And uh, that's much more, that's a much bigger difference than the clicky or linear feel, in my opinion. Uh, distractions are a very bad thing when typing. So I believe that the Apex Pro has an advantage in typing, basically. And that's what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, so we're um, here for the gaming part. We're going to start off with the Razer Huntsman. This one is really, uh, really good for gaming if you like clicky switches because it's. Uh, we're not 100% sure, but pretty damn sure that these are the fastest clicky switches on the market. So, like, uh, this one is good for, like, gaming. If you want to play games like, like, uh, I wouldn't recommend this for, like, streamers. Because the microphone picks it up a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Because it's really loud. So, then, like, you can, um... But it's good for like strategy games, like racing games, and it has a really good response time, and it has a, like, an aluminum frame. That yeah, it's a really nice, it's a pretty nice keyboard. Yeah, but you shouldn't be playing racing games on keyboard anyway. So we got the, yeah, let's just get over to the. We got Steel the Series. Steel Series Apex Pro here. 
I think this one is better for like competitive games like CSGO, Call of Duty, Fortnite, and uh, like H1Z1, Rainbow Six Siege and stuff like that. Cause like, it's a really fast, like you can, you can feel the difference. Like, uh, you can feel the difference easily if you use like both at the same time, like press it. This one activates like around here, about like 0. 0.4 milliseconds. You're using a red switch as a comparison, but it's yeah, really but not that switch that counts. It's one of the yeah. ones in the middle. And then not all the switches have um, on your point, as, I, as my brother said. So these switches don't have Omni point, and then the macro keys, and no. then the arrow keys. Don't. No. Don't. And then the, the 60%. Uh, layout has it but yes. basically what a 60% layout is it's basically all of these keys yeah that we can show off in just an ex example keyboard right here this is a 60% keyboard so all the buttons fitting with within this parameter are all Omni point switches on the steel series apex pro uh, TKL version all the buttons that can be accessed with a normal 60% keyboard are completely uh, Omnipoint supported, not Omnipoint um, included, but the ones on the corners, the FN buttons, all of them, not the F buttons, all, all of them, and the uh, macros uh, with the delete button and stuff, and arrow keys, they are red switches. So if you like to play with arrow keys or you like to have the same feeling on all keys, this might not be a very good keyboard for you, but if you just like typing with the best keys possible, that is incredibly good, but I, but I really wish, uh, Steel Series offered uh, a full Omnipoint layout for those who really like to have Omnipoint on every switch and would like to pay the extra for it, because you know it's a very good added bonus, of course. But this is the compromise they had to do to keep this at a low price point, a low enough that it could be sold to customers. Yeah, and I think they did a pretty damn good job of balancing the costs. Of the important stuff versus the non-important stuff yeah and then it got like a um, aluminum uh, aluminum frame which is really nice quality and then it's the keyboard is actually pretty damn light it's about 700 grams I think it doesn't take anything away from the quality yeah and, no. and then the and then the 100 percent version is about uh, exactly one kilogram I think so like about two pounds so this one has a scroll a scroll wheel and all like a scroll we already volume. talked about that part. yeah that's a good feature to but, include but you could just uh, hold this button for two seconds and then press press the scroll scroll wheel and then just you can just check your presets and then it can go like hey yeah, you can put custom presets on this too right yeah you can like when you yeah. have this on the go you can put it on this on the go memory so that like it custom. reads it, so they can so they can change the settings on the keyboard on the fly. And you can do this like, like after like a couple of seconds. Yeah. If you don't use it, it just makes it go AFK. So like you can just press it and then just make it go dim. And it just yeah. It's basically off right now. Just like if you press it, it just comes. Oh, it's like that. React. And then like that, you can basically like. Yeah. Yeah, you have the features on it and stuff like that, you know. But basically, that's all the features that this thing has got. And there are a lot more in the program, but we just don't like to show you the program because that's more like an experience to you, you know. You should really experience this program for yourself or see another video on it because, well, we don't want to film the screen. So, basically, that's what we got for you guys right now. Oh, farewell, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome reviews on more keyboards, mice, and alike. And I hope I see you in my next video where I'm probably going to be gaming. And I'm probably going to be playing some BeamNG Drive or some other racing game. So I really wish you stick around to watch some of those videos. And have a nice day, night, afternoon, whatever time of day it is. I hope you have a fantastic time doing whatever you want to do. As long as it's not negative. Goodbye, guys. I hope you do well in life.